buddy. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Keep it up. I'm gonna push you down these stairs. Angus, get him. Watch out. Watch out. I got a man in a chair. All right, everybody, come on. Break it up. Let's go. You understand what probation means? Uh, yes, sir. It means that if you continue down that same path, you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month. Yes, sir. If I had it my way, we wouldn't waste our time. You'd be inside already. Mr. Gray has made great progress. His share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. I, I believe in this man. Well, let's hope you don't live to regret that fate. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, it seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. Yo. Here you go. It's about time. Home sweet home. <laughs>
Harder than you think. I don't know what I'd rather go back to. Stents in the hall or group shared with luster fucks in that place. Okay. Whether it's train gangs in the showers or grown men crying and hugging in rehab, there's definitely an undeniable twinge of homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you keep getting caught there, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay. I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. I bet you're happy to see this place, man. Johnny, what's going on? Not much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here? Amiguito. Come on, just pour a Willie wet back. Boys, salute, wet you pussy motherfuckers. And dry to salute. Keep. <laughs> okay, oh, another round for you. Goddamn right. <sighs> Yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. The are you are fucking deaf? No. Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your old bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. No, you imagine. Shut up. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15-year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you should have gotten back. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Uh, some fucking heart. Something. I can't believe I'm hearing this shit. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you, Paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, and then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart? You be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot.